ever asked you have something called alpha coma, beta coma, or you can even have spindle coma? It's a frontally predominant alpha pattern, so you're going to have 8 to 12 hertz frequencies. Um, it's not going to be reactive, and these are patients who are usually comatose, or they've had cardiac arrest, or they have hypoxic ischemic injury. Alpha coma overall has a poor prognosis associated with it, but you also have to correlate it with the exam. This is beta coma. It looks very similar to alpha coma. However, you see the faster beta frequencies, which can go from 12 to 16 hertz. Beta coma does have a better prognosis, so that's one way to remember it. B for beta, B for better. And then you have spindle coma, which is generalized spindle activity throughout the record. That doesn't mean the patient is asleep. That means they're in a coma, they're not reactive. This one also does not have a favorable prognosis. As always, it's really important to correlate uh, the exam, the imaging findings with the EEG findings as well, but those are just some of the EEG patterns that we look for on you know, EEG in someone who's had cardiac arrest. Of course, you don't have to have all three of these. If someone has a normal posterior dominant rhythm or is creating frequencies, that is generally not a bad thing, um, but again, you have to correlate it with the imaging findings in the exam.